Danger Dolan. From offensive lines that had to be changed to cartoon scenes traumatizing kids across the world, we count 15 cartoons forcefully changed or even banned because of their controversial content. Number 15. Abortion is a touchy subject in the US, so when Family Guy decided to take it on, the episode was quickly banned from airing on TV. The episode's plot was essentially, Lois becomes a surrogate mother for a friend, but when the friend is killed, Lois and Peter have to decide if they should abort or give the baby up for adoption. Peter agrees on the abortion, but quickly has his mind changed when he agrees that abortion is murder, but Lois has the abortion anyway. Number 14. In 2005, there was a religious group in America threatening to take down the show Spongebob. Their argument being that Spongebob, the character, was a gay icon because he was too cheerful all the time and they didn't like that. Likewise, in 2006, China was banned from showing Spongebob on their airways, not because of the content or censorship issues, but because it was a foreign show in a primetime TV slot. Number 13. Aladdin. Of course, this was on a banned episode, but they did have to censor a line at the very start of the movie just to get it released. In the opening song, a character describes Arabia as a place where they cut off your ear if they don't like your face. American Arabs immediately objected to this stereotype. Instead, the line became, where it's flat and immense and the heat is intense, but kept the line about Arabia being a barbaric place to the dismay of critics. Number 12. A well-known incident that occurred in Japan in 1997, the Pokemon episode Computer Soldier Porygon showed intense flashing blue and red lights on the screen for seconds at a time. As soon as this episode aired, people began complaining of blurred vision, dizziness and nausea. Some lost consciousness. According to Japan's Fire Defense Agency, over 600 people were taken to hospital with two remaining there for weeks on end. The episode was promptly banned. Number 11. Ren and Stimpy, Man's Best Friend. This is the cartoon that merged children and adult humor mixed with surrealism, and although the creators were constantly fighting with the censors to keep their jokes in the show, one particular episode pushed it too far. Man's Best Friend shows Ren brutally beating another character called George Licker with an oar, George's eye protruding from its socket from the beating, Ren telling Stimpy that he's next. It was so intense for a kid show that rumor has it Ren and Stimpy's creator was fired for making the show too frightening and dramatic for children. Number 10. Speedy Gonzalez, the famous Looney Tunes mouse, a role model for Mexicans and Latin Americans alike, pulled from the air in 1999 by Cartoon Network. They went on record claiming Speedy and the characters around him were a poor role model for kids, ethnic stereotypes in the form of a lazy, alcohol addicted characters. But to their surprise, heaps of members in the Hispanic American rights organizations threw up campaigns to get it back on the air, and three years later they succeeded. Number 9. Dexter's Laboratory, Silver Spooner. A 1996 episode that lampooned Silver Surfer from the Fantastic Four comic series. It was banned in several major countries including England, Canada, and America. The reasons were twofold. First, there was the Silver Spooner character that enacts a huge number of homosexual stereotypes, and a Justice Friends character binging alcohol until he starts to vomit. It aired just once in 2002, but has not appeared on airways since. Number 8. The Simpsons Cartridge Family. In 2008, Venezuela banned one of the most commercially successful cartoons of all time because the president thought it too unsuitable for children. Meanwhile, over in the UK, Channel Sky One refused to air a season 9 episode, The Cartridge Family, featuring guns. While, like Venezuela, Russia banned the show in 2008 because of a number of reasons. It promotes violence, cruelty, pornography, mayhem, physical and ethical suffering, and also invokes fear, panic, and terror in children, says Russia. Not entirely sure I've been watching the same show as that country. Number 7. Family Guy, Sarah Palin. A single line from this one episode of Family Guy in which a character with Down Syndrome explained her dad is an accountant and her mum the former governor of Alaska. A reference to Sarah Palin who was a child with Down Syndrome. Sarah immediately took to Facebook to let everyone know she was hurt and upset over the remark, but the character's voice actor, who also has Down Syndrome, had something else to say. She says Governor Palin doesn't have a sense of humor, and that her parents raised her to have one. That at least her own mother didn't parade her kid around like a loaf of bread looking for sympathy and votes. 
an outrageously epic burn. Number six, Cow and Chicken Buffalo Gals, an episode from 98 about a group of biker chicks filled with lesbian innuendos. The description is a gang that randomly breaks into people's homes and chews their carpets which describes the fact that, in the show, they literally chew on carpets. But since the show is already filled with oftentimes raunchy humour, it wasn't too big on its own. But later, at a softball match, the Buffalo Gals would talk about pitching and catching, references to sex, and this tipped it over the edge. Number 5. Beavis and Butthead Comedians, a 1993 and not-so-controversial episode about these two cartoon characters burning down a comedy club. This would have been fine, except one five-year-old kid in real life decided to get inspired by what he saw. He set fire to his trailer, killing his baby sister. So MTV pulled the episode and when it did return, all references to the burning were removed. But eventually they just removed the episode entirely. Number 4. Pope Town, a crazy sitcom about the Pope, a man with the mental maturity of a four-year-old, and his handler, Father Nicholas. It involves sexual nature, corruption, and greed. So naturally, the Roman Catholics attacked it immediately, and the show was banned the minute it premiered all over the world. Only 10 episodes were produced, and it offended people so much that it isn't even available on DVD in a bunch of countries. Number 3. Pokemon Beauty and the Beach, an episode in which female characters do a beauty contest including James of Team Rocket wearing inflatable breasts. He taunts Misty, shaking his boobs in her face saying, maybe when you're older you'll have a chest like this. This small scene was the only reason the episode was cancelled. It was later cut out and the original only ever shown once in Japan. Number 2. Tiny Toons, the episode 1B, a show for little kids, tamer than Looney Tunes except for one episode, so completely inappropriate that I'm pretty sure they only created it to take the piss. The Toons find a beer and start drinking, bearing in mind that these are very young characters, and then once they're all wasted, they steal a car and start driving around, and <laughs> here's the best part, the episode ends with them driving off a cliff only to hit the ground and die. A harsh lesson in life to all the three-year-olds out there. Number 1. Song of the South, one of the lost Disney films from 1946 that hasn't seen a release on DVD in the US for one very good reason. It's highly racist. Despite the fact it features extremely well-known music like Zippity Doo this post-Civil War South movie has slaves happily going about their duties, idyllic master-slave relationships, as if it were a good thing. Suffice to say, Disney are well aware that have had millions of angry parents come down on them if they even considered printing this to mainstream disc in present day. That's it for this countdown, and have a good one!